How about we get a little more insight uh, from a Howard University political science professor. He's been with us many times. We appreciate him coming on. Dr. Ravi Perry joining us right now. Uh, hello, hey. sir. Hey, I'm glad to be here. How are you? Glad, glad to see you back. So is it just impossible at this point for Joe Biden to be stopped? Well, nothing's impossible in American politics, to be clear. Uh, but it certainly seems almost very difficult uh, for him to make that uh, effort to actually win the Democratic nomination, um, if, if you were Joe, if you were uh, Bernie Sanders, Joe Biden has made it very clear today already with the win as you just announced uh, here on the Black News Channel that it was in fact uh, Joe Biden who has won Mississippi. Uh, in full disclosure, where I have lived uh, previously, and he also uh, has won apparently Missouri, and and I've also lived previously in Michigan. So I want to uh, to just to expose my my uh, uh, my disclosures there and I, so I know those voters very well and it seems as though uh, Joe Biden is it, this is his night to rack up victories uh, but to be fair to the Bernie Sanders campaign it is clear that there is this is still a close delegate race and uh, it's possible for Bernie to uh, take the delegate lead again but but all indication did indicate that Joe Biden had a vision that he would win South Carolina and he would keep winning. And so far, his vision has turned out to be accurate. Well, Dr. Perry, let me ask you this, too. Not only with the, the uh, Democratic primary, but looking forward to the general, how big of an error was it for Bernie Sanders to bypass the state of Mississippi and to kind of, let's just face it, diss the African-American voters? Right. So after right not performing well in South Carolina, after having had uh, the opportunity to appoint African Americans to lead his campaign and did not, after having had a re relatively successful campaign uh, uh, four years ago, but he was criticized for his lack of support of African Americans, and yet and still we find that here he is again choosing to not directly court African American issues. I also noticed that yesterday on another network he was talking explicitly to Michigan voters, and he did not even mention the auto industry, did not even mention unions. And if you are a black Michigan voter, uh, you care about the auto industry. You care that the Obama-Biden administration saved the auto industry. And you're someone who certainly supports unions. And for uh, uh, Bernie Sanders to not take every opportunity he has been given, to emphasize that he is someone who perhaps may support those issues really is a missed opportunity for him. And his choice to leave Mississippi, when he still had a shot to at least win up some delegate votes there, he may not have won the state, but he may have won some delegates. And the fact that he chose to simply just say, forget it, uh, gave a real clear indication, I think, to many African Americans there in Mississippi. And again, the same African Americans throughout the South who were not really very supportive of him in last week's Super Tuesday, uh, it made it clear to them that Bernie Sanders perhaps is not their candidate and that Joe Biden, while they may not agree with Joe Biden on everything, they agree with him on this, that he is the best candidate to defeat Donald Trump. Dr. Ravi Perry, yes, a political science uh, professor. You're the department chair. I'm reading, I, I just found this out. I, I want to make sure that we get your title right, because yeah. I'm reading this. I knew that you were a professor, because you and I have talked many times before. You are the department yeah. chair of political science at Howard. I wanted to get it right. And I have two also, full disclosure, lived in Mississippi. So. Well, there you go. Yeah. So, all right, thank you so much for joining us. You, you make us smarter every time, <laughs> Every Dr. time. Thank you so much.